All right, what's up, YouTube? So today, uh, exciting news, I got a delivery to be able to take this golf cart camping with us uh, for the F-250. Uh, the tailgate won't close with the F with the golf cart in there because I have a short bed, um, but I did some research, and I, instead of throwing a strap on it like I was going to, I picked up these Gate King uh, tailgate straps. Um, so we're gonna install them and show you guys um, the process, what's in the box, all that stuff. So it's gonna replace those cables that hold your tailgate in place uh, when you raise it and lower it. Um, and this will allow it to lock into different steps and stages. That way, when there's something in your bed and you can't close the tailgate all the way, you can at least close it to the point where you can secure whatever's in there. Um, so this is gonna come in handy for me. And uh, hopefully, maybe it'll help somebody else out. Um, like I said, I did some research because I had a strap on it and I wasn't comfortable driving our 15-hour trip, towing the camper with this golf cart in the back of it, uh, knowing that just a little tiny strap was holding my tailgate in place, especially with how expensive tailgates are these days. So um, let's see what's in the box and let's see how they install in the truck. Stay tuned. All right, so again, this is the box, Gate King tailgate adjuster. Um, this is the product that's going to be in there goes right into the factory bolt holes and this little thing here is going to click into notches in this half circle wheel uh, allowing it to stay um, adjusted so cool packaging got photos of the product um, here's this the SKU number and what it fits so I have a 2017 f-250 so it's going to fit on there perfectly um, so let's crack this open and get it installed all right so here's the gate king box it looks like it's a sleeve that slides out here, let's see. Oh, yeah, there we go. All righty. Got some tape. Everyone's had tape on it. No big deal. Just cut the tape here. Instructions and bolts and spacers, it looks like. And here are the Gate King brackets themselves. There we go. So we'll see the orientation on these and which direction I need to put them and all that um, when I get them on the truck behind me. So Right now, I just wanted to do an unboxing and show you guys what's in the box. That's what's going to be in the box so far. I'm going to read um, the directions here. That way I can see what I'm doing, where I'm doing it, and uh, the factory bolts. So let's see behind me here. Factory bolts holding on the tailgate are going to be a Torx head uh, T45. So I'm gonna take those off and then they replace them with aftermarket hardware and spacers. So hold on tight. All right, so I didn't really videotape too much cause I did a little time-lapse for you, um, but it replaces the top bolt it puts a washer and a spacer in there and then down here as well but uh the hardest thing was I'm sorry let me get the camera turned around there better um replaces this here it tells me in the directions that I replace this bolt with an eight millimeter flathead um i don't have it they said it was going to be provided in the kit so hopefully that clears everything well i, I mean it seems like it should um but this um Allen key up top here is it went in pretty tight. I, I know that it was threaded correctly because I I started it by hand and then I tightened it down with a wrench. Um, so I'm hoping that was tightened down enough. Um, I, it has pressure on and I can't spin the washer or anything. So I'm not, I'm sure it's not loose. Um, but this here is the ratcheting mechanism that I was talking about. So let me get closer there. Um, so if I engage it, as soon as it hits that first notch, um, it will lock into place and it says it will lock in for seven notches so 
Uh, basically here we'll flip you around and show you this is what it's replacing that cable so I'm gonna do the other side and see how it works but uh, for right now let's just see it'll function like a normal tailgate goes up and down um, because it's not engaged so it seems like everything's gonna work I'm just gonna flip it around and do the other side so hang tight YouTube so it's the next day um, had a little mishap here so this silver spacer here allows the bracket to slide in and out of itself <clears throat> and I installed on the wrong side so it got jammed up and actually um, caused this bolt to get jammed up on me and I couldn't get it out um, and I ended up having this it stripped the head on me and I ended up having to drill it out so uh, I just finished that um, had to go up to my dad's shop and uh, use some tools to get it out that I wouldn't have had in the house. So um, other than that, pretty simple. So if you're doing this on your own or you're doing it at home, um, it's not gonna be challenging. Just make sure that you put these silver brackets and spacers on the right side so when they move, they move. And then F-250s need to switch out one bolt on your hinge here at the bottom uh, so that way it clears and it's flat because the factory ones stick out too far um, they're supposed to be supplied in the kit and they weren't but no big deal because I had to go buy a new bolt anyway for that top bracket so um, this is how it works um, you would flip these and engage them into action and then it's going to lock into place allowing the tailgate to stay at an angle um, so super cool if you go all the way up with it it's now going to function as a normal tailgate it uses my slow open and uh, it doesn't engage those um, brackets at all because it's now locked back into the tab here um, because this tab engages it back to where it's in neutral position so pretty good system i'll let you guys know how it ends up with the golf cart and camping but again gate king um, great quality product just i installed it a little incorrectly so a little user error but i'm happy with the product so far so stay tuned for a review after the camping trip all right youtube so that's going to do it for today's video again shout out to gate king uh they're not sponsoring this video uh but it is a good product and i want everybody to know it um so i'm gonna review it after we use them for a little while um but we'll see how it goes so as always stay safe stay active get out there do something you love and i'll catch you guys later